Hi everyone. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, oral history uh, because many students get confused whether oral history is a type of research design or is it a data collection method. So, uh, popularly oral history should be looked at as a data collection method and I will explain why when I explain what oral history is all about. But uh, in qualitative research, oral history is often looked at as a study design as well especially because it uh, it records the it's a design that records or it is intended to record the perceptions uh, the the experiences and the accounts of events from the research participants so that's why you can see that why it often gets confused uh, as a data collection method and a study design basically oral history is used when you are trying to gather the experiences uh, of a uh, certain event or the accounts of a certain event which you have not experienced yourself uh, normally it is historical uh, so historical means let's say it's 2023 and you want to know how people lived in the 1960s so what you can do is you can start interviewing participants or research participants who actually lived in the 1960s so oral history normally tries to take into account of events which have been uh, uh, viewed firsthand. So it's mostly firsthand experiences. What do we mean by firsthand? That means that the participants are telling you based on their actual experience. Often oral history also relies on the uh, events which are related secondhand or events that have been passed on as stories or events. So for example, if you want to know what happened in the 1940s or how people lived in the 1940s or maybe housing system or sewage system in the 1940s and you cannot find anybody uh, who from uh, that era you cannot find anybody who lived in the 1940s but you do find people in the nine from the 1950s or 60s who probably did not experience first-hand uh, uh, first-hand account of 1940s but they were uh, told stories about it from their parents or their friends or their peers or their relatives and they pass on their knowledge to you or if they have read uh, about it uh, somewhere and they have uh, extensive knowledge about that topic and uh, you don't and they are passing on their knowledge about that topic or their uh, the what they have heard from other people and they pass it on to you so although it is not a first-hand experience um, it is still regarded as part of the oral history design uh, of course in your research limitations or part of your uh, uh, discussion section you must mention that the events uh, that have been uh, collated or the account of events that have been collated are either based on first-hand experience or second-hand or they are being retold as heard by the research participants so it is a popular way of uh, gathering data in qualitative research uh, normally about the beliefs uh, perceptions experiences uh, and account of events uh, especially historical events that have happened but you can justify it to use uh, to know about any events that you may not get first-hand experience about so for example if you want to gather data about uh, how it what is the difference uh, that a, a person feels uh, on a submarine when they are on the surface and when they are below the surface then of course you have to ask people who have been sailing on the submarine uh, on the surface and below the surface and uh, many of the participants that you have to of course target is uh, uh, people who sail on this kind of because you may not be able to go and experience it yourself in case you are not able to experience it yourself and you want to gather the data from research participants who have been then also you can use oral history because still they are retelling first-hand experiences of uh, their um, experience in the submarine when it was above the surface or below the surface these are just random examples I'm telling you just to explain when is oral history used so I hope this and this clears up the difference uh, of oral history used as a research design or a uh, data collection tool uh, because often there is arguments as to what is oral history so you can depends on the context in which you use oral history in 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 uh, quantitative research you may justify this purely a data collection method whereas in qualitative research uh, mainly you can also establish it as a research design especially like i said uh, in events where historical data 
is difficult for you to uh, get access to or you do not have first hand experience or you cannot get participants who have first hand experience or um, uh, they are, but there are people who have uh, heard about the events and they want to retell it uh, based on what they have especially purely based from a memory point of view so they have the memory knowledge and they want to recount it so let me know what you thought about this video and whether i have missed something or not uh, i will try to discuss different data collection and research design um, methods uh, in my videos thank you and bye for now